Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher, and today we're going to take a look at the tangle Ayami from CZT Amico Kaneko, and I hope I'm pronouncing all of that right. Okay, this is a um, it's a neat tangle, and lots of different things that you could do with this. It starts off with an F shape. And I found myself, I had to start, so I, I, this I'm going to place this just right in the, in the middle or close to it, right? Um, actually, I tried to do it, so I was drawing down and I did it backwards. So I'm just going to do how I did it, how I have been doing it, um, which is kind of awkward on my side. But um, you might find a way that works best for you. And I... Again, uh, well, if you've been following, I, you know, I share this, I, these ideas because everybody works differently. All right, so I'm going to draw this S shape, and it's, let's see, it would essentially be a backwards S shape, <laughs> backwards and upside down. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw this first one, and essentially kind of going out to the left and up, and like so. All right? And the reason I started in the middle, because I wanted it placed in the middle, I know that if I go and I do from here, it's not necessarily going to land where I want it to. So I want to assure that. That's why I started in the middle. Now, I, if I if I practiced, I could probably do, yeah, you know, I could do a backwards one coming down. But I don't know, for whatever reason, sometimes when I start to do it one way, then I just kind of end up sticking with that. All right, then the next step... Uh, it's more of a C shape than an S shape, but at the end you kind of curves, curve a little bit, um, so it can kind of be somewhat of an S shape. So this, so I had this kind of going to the left. So coming at the tip where I ended, I'm going to start back and kind of come around and you know do a little, a little bit of an S shape there. Ooh, looks like a flame. If I tried to do, say, oh, I'm going to draw a flame, I would never be able to do it. But look at how that turned out. How cool. All right, then I'm going to turn the tile because um, we're going to do three of these. So I'm going to tr do my best here um, to have it, you know, have it so that way it's divided out nicely three ways. And inevitably, well, it's because of this one. Now, had I done, well, you can't really do it at, if I did four at the four corners, then they'd be even. <laughs> I'm looking at this one is smaller than this one, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Okay. And I, I, I hesitate because I have to think, okay, I'm going out to the left, left, and then in and up is what's going through my brain. And then coming back down, yeah, just like so. All right. Then we're going to draw, it's kind of another, somewhat of an S shape. So... As we see how this is kind of curving to the right and then curving to the left, we're going to go sort of towards the top and then, you know, coming down the side and then ending on the left like that. Okay. And we're going to do that on each one. And I would highly encourage you to take a peek in the description section where I have a link to my step out for this. Um, and I will have, under the For More Inspiration, a link to uh, Amico's blog. So that way you can see right from, <laughs> right from the creative source, um, you know, how it's done. And also other ways, ways to use it, um, ways to, to decorate it, things like that. I always like to include that. All right. So once you have this, then we're going to do some some curved lines. Now, if you have been following every day... Yesterday we did, um, well, and if you are also doing the um, Inktober 2021, Inktober Tangles 2021, yesterday we did this uh, tangle called Whipped Cream, and I'm going to show you here. And what's interesting to me is that it, it, this, it looks about like this, this next step that we're going to do. So it's neat. I always like it when uh, things just kind of match that way. So, um, so if you're following, I think that that was kind of cool. All right, this one, now I'm just going to start this here I, I without looking back. So, you know, where this ends, I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason. It's it's not, we're not going all the way up, but say like right here, 
which is maybe a little bit more than halfway. So you could go halfway and it'd be safe. We're going to draw a curve line like that. And then kind of, uh, kind of auraing that curve. And then one coming down just a little bit. Same idea. Well, that one kind of went out way too far, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Same thing. We're kind of all going into the middle. Like that. And then you could end up with one hit like this. And we're going to do that on each side. And like I said, you know, and kind of having that um, little bit of a curve coming down. You know, and, and like picturing from here, how it's kind of coming down in here. So it's one of those that is kind of, really, it's up to each one of us to to figure out what we like and how we want to do that part. And that one I'm going to just end like so. Oops, let's connect that a little bit better. And that is essentially it, except for some shading. Um, so for some shading ideas, one thing I'm going to do, oops, for sure, is I'm going to put some graphite. Well, we can just put it all the way around here. I was debating on the big sections, but... You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go a little bit darker. Well, I didn't need to go that far. <laughs> just where those those extra curve lines that we had are. I just think I think that that might look kind of neat. And then. Oh, let me take a peek here. And this another nice thing too is when you look at the you know the originator's artwork, um, and then you can get some some neat ideas as far as shading goes. Let's see. I'm going to. This is the part that I'm I'm kind of looking. I'm, I'm not sure which way. I'm not sure which way to go with this one. Let's do this. I'm going to put it on the outside. And you know whatever we do, we'll just be consistent, right? And then. And then that's good, because then it's, you know. <laughs> then it just means that we meant it. Oh, okay. I have Tortillon right handy. They like to disappear. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. You know, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some here. Just because I have enough space as well. And I'm going on the, you know, inside, so I'm not going out there. I have another idea. I think we'll put, maybe put some graphite on the tips of those. Oops. Put the point of the tortillon on the graphite line. <laughs> so that way then you're, you know, uh, working down kind of towards you not the other way around as i was almost doing now oh, that does look kind of neat all right so i do have a well you know what, let's see so i have a smidge of room here i'm gonna put a little bit of graphite just at the tips of these i'm using what's left on my tortillon just because i since i don't have a lot of room i don't want it to be real heavy and actually i'm gonna to draw some right from there <laughs> like a paintbrush let's see no oh, neat you know you could do like on you know going on the same side you could do each one of these or actually you know maybe even flipping it and doing it on the back I'm calling it the back the back side you know the, the left side of each line that could look really neat too so just amazing. Just amazing what a little bit of graphite will do. Just amazing. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I uh, would love to have a uh, thumbs up, you know, like, share, say, like, share, save, like, share, subscribe, and all of that. Um, in the description section, uh, again, step outs, as well as uh, 
uh, ways to connect with me if you're interested. I do classes uh, once a week at least. Sometimes oh, there's a couple times where I do things twice a week. Mostly free, some paid. Uh, the free ones are supported by those that are, are members of the Tangle Addicts Club. Uh, they also get all basically whatever I put out as far as paid content goes is all in, it, you know included in the, uh, a monthly fee. So if you are interested, I uh, would love to have you check that out as well. And and I would you know I would be absolutely honored if you uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, I would love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. Let's see what else. I think that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped as if you're playing with this. And you know what? And if you, it, what a great uh, coupling that would be with uh, this tangle. Ooh, I'm picturing, I'm picturing like a border and this on the corners. And then this is the, is the, okay, that's, I'm going to have to play with that. Okay. So I'm going to go do that and you all play and, uh, and have fun and happy tangling. We'll see you next time.